Well, Mittler Brothers makes a lot of fabrication tools and equipment for the race car builder, for the hot rodder, for the restoration guy. We also sell to the sport aviation market and to the industrial fabricator. So really, if you're doing any kind of metal fabrication, whether it be steel, uh, tubing, whether it be sheet, aluminum, we have a machine or a combination of machines that will help make that job easier and faster for the fabricator. Uh -huh. This is our bench press louver machine, and this allows the, the uh, customer to be able to make louvers and panels up to 16 gauge steel or aluminum, which will handle most of your uh, hot rod and restoration type jobs and your racing jobs. And it's a fairly simple process. The, the way we start is we always are starting on the back of the panel because we're punching the louver kind of from the inside out. Okay. So the, the, the first place is to lay out our louver and lay out the center line of where we want our louvers. So we put a, 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 a pen line on this panel here and the most critical louver is that first one because we've got to get it lined up square and straight the way we want it. And then we have to line up our center line here so that we will have consistent louvers so when you look down that hood or that panel of that vehicle, the louvers look nice and straight and sharp. Once we have our panel lined up the way we want, we just pull down on the handle, and voila, we have our first louver. Now, does your machine come with different die widths? We, we make different size die widths from one inch to five inch. Great. And, and that's the beauty of this machine. It makes a nice, smooth, even cut so no extra rework is required. Okay, and what about the depth of the louver if they the, wanted them higher up? And no, like the that? depth of the louver is set by the tooling. Okay. And, and it would seem like you can make it higher, but there's a limit to how far you can stretch that material. Right. If you stretch it too far, then you'll start to stress crack that material in the, in the corner. You won't have the desired finish output that you want. The way you get the even spacing is after we made this first louver, we pull it or push it over the die and then pull it to us and that locks in our spacing of our louver there from our oh, center the die to center has the, the has other the spacing built gotcha. in it. So then we just we just look at our center line again. We adjust our center line. Now we're ready for you to try it. Kelly, you pull the handle and show us how to do it. Well, that there was go. pretty easy. There you go. And now you can say, man, I made my first louver. Look at that. Look at that and they're both straight. How about that? <laughs> pretty amazing, same. isn't it? That's really cool and very easy. Okay, Mike, so right now I think we're standing in front of a, I'm gonna call it a hole punch. Is that what you call yes, it? Yes, we, we call them our punch and flare punches is what we call them. Okay. And we make these from one inch to three inch. So we have a good variety of different sizes available there for you. And the idea of this punch is to lighten that panel. We talked about that a little earlier, mm -hmm. how we can get that, that car lighter weight for better performance. Uh, and then in some cases, guys use it for airflow, where you want to get better airflow around your radiator or through your vehicle. And uh, then the other thing it does is it really kind of gives it that really cool look by turning that metal up, really makes it a, a, a takes a plain looking flat panel, makes it really attractive looking. The other thing it does is it, uh, on the lightweight side, is it allows you to use a little thinner material, turn that metal up on edge, and then it makes that panel much stiffer. There's flex in this panel now. Okay. We put a series of holes in, it'll be stiffer. That's the flare aspect the, of the, the hole. The flare this, aspect, This is very yes. different than just using a, a, a regular hole, hole punch, yes. Gotcha. yes. Okay. And of course, as we noted with the louver, as you'll see, it leaves a nice clean hole, so it's ready, it's ready to go on a vehicle, minimum work afterwards. So where the hole saw always leaves kind of a rough edge, right. takes a lot of additional work to do that. Okay. So uh, this, this is the same machine as the louver press. We can position our part. We would typically lay out our centers that we want to make a nice pattern. We, we put it in there, we pull the handle down, and we've got us a finished punch and flare hole there that, that will make that panel much stronger and lighter and add that trick look. Okay, now how hard is it to get uh, the machine itself set up so where you don't smash the panel or go too far? Uh, or... You know, e even even for a relatively new uh, operator, I would say 15 minutes is all you would need at the oh, most that's to awesome. get it going. So yeah, you know, our machines are made to be friendly, mm -hmm. made to be uh, put in the shop and be productive for our customers. Mike, frequently in the shop, we have a flat panel that we have to change the shape of, and it just doesn't seem strong enough. We've got a, a wobble factor, we call it a lot. And it seems to me we need something to strengthen the panel. And we've talked about the louvers, and we've talked about punching the holes, but 
sometimes it's like, I don't want any hole in it. I just need it to be strong. So it sounds like a bead roller is my situation. Though. Absolutely. A bead roller is absolutely the machine to use. And uh, we'll give you a little sample of that here, how it works. The same as we did here to strengthen the panel with this, we can put the bead roll in. And what we're doing there is we're, we're taking the flat panel, turning it up on edge. And the official term for that is oil canning of the material, where, right. it, where it's like the oil can. So the, the bead roller will put a, a strengthening and an appearance bead in there. And we'll talk about that appearance bead in just a little bit. This is a very basic machine. Again, normally we would we would lay out our center lines if we wanted a straight bead. Okay. And, and we would we would just set our depth the way we want for our bead roll, and then we would just roll our material right through. Now, how did you determine, I saw you cranking down the, the wheels, is that by feel, or how do you learn? Uh, how kind of by it? feel, okay. and, 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 and from experience on this machine, I know I want the handle in that position. Okay. A lot of our customers will, will simply come, touch the material where they feel a drag, go one, two and a half cranks, let's see where we come out this time, take off, same bead we had a minute ago. Right. So one and a half to two and a half cranks, and that's up to the, that's up to the customer. Uh, what do they like? You know, we can okay. put different depths, different widths, different shapes of beads in the in the panel, and you see now that panel has gotten much stiffer. Absolutely, it doesn't want to flex. Not only does it not want to flex, where where you really see the flexing is once the vehicle's under load, it's going down the road, it's mm -hmm. going down the racetrack. You apply that torque to those high horsepower vehicles that you guys build, right? And that will help that mater that panel from snapping and popping when it's going down the road. Okay, so how many um, die options do you have with these we, type of machines? We offer about a hundred different rolls for the machine in all different shapes. We have beads that are round like this. We have beads that are square or flat. And we have a number of other different beads that we make for specialty applications. We've been making these machines for a number of years and we have a, a lot of customers that do a lot of different work. We have race car people, we have restoration people, and hot rodders such as yourself. Mm -hmm. So different people have different needs, so we developed a whole line of dies over all the years. And uh, how do you learn how to use the dies? Do you guys have some educational materials? It, 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 it's really, as you see, pretty straightforward. We're going to give you a go at it again here. Okay. And uh, you, you uh, the straight ones is just up to you, the operator. We press the gas pedal, and you're holding the steering wheel. I'm good just, at pressing the gas just, pedal, Mike. There you go. There you go. So you just... <laughs> You just line her up there and give her a go, and you'll see how easy bead rolling is. Easy. And do you think it's a slow motion more than fast is preferred? Uh, slow is better uh, to, as you start off, and it's like any other job that you do. The more you do it, the better you're going to become with it, and you can, and then you can speed up if you want. Oh, and I put a bend in it. Look at that. There you go. And cool. of course, so it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. No. If you can turn your metal. Exactly. That's okay. the, there. There's where the create creativity of our customers come up. This is one of our customers that does some very creative work and uh, this is one example that he did and uh, he actually kind of created this type of work himself and I and I call it metal art is really what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. You know you wouldn't normally see this in your race car but you never know. Metal art and then here's another example uh, and uh, I got in trouble the other day. I called that a catfish, and they said, boss, that's not a catfish, that's a koi fish. Right. So uh, I, I particularly don't have this type of artistic talent. Me either. But obviously many of our customers do, some of our customers do, and here's a great example of what you can do with our Mittler Brothers bead roller. Well, I think it's a great example, even if you aren't going to put a koi fish on your race car, but it can show you the angles you can do very easily it looks. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, and, I probably and, spent a lot of time on it and it's very hard to do but it looks like your tools are very capable of doing multiple very things. Very capable and again only limited by that creative brain that our operator or that our operators and customers have and this guy happens to be a real exception to be a spectacular operator. Well Mike I want to come to your shop and play with more tools. Is that okay with you? Well we'd love to have you anytime <laughs> come on over and we'll have a lot of fun. Great. Thank okay. you for your time. We really Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you Kelly. Yeah I appreciate it.